Chicho, given the amount of news date you consume on our current world, what are ways you heal, keep your mental emotions, health on check? Sleepy waves, great question. And the way I do it is I share as much as I can. The reason I got into blogging is because I saw the world going down a very, very dark path. And that was in the beginning of 2000s, right? Beginning of 2000s, actually end of the 1990s to a certain degree, but that song and that mindset, uh, party like it's 1999. For those of you who didn't live through that period, I can honestly tell you the 1990s, if you were in the Western world, not in the Eastern world, where I am in Canada, United States, it was unbelievable, carefree, uh, very very carefree there are different words you could use for it right however when the 2000s kicked in things changed up reality hit in right so for me my motivation my juice the thing that keeps me sane physically mental uh, mentally emotionally is first of all i eat well i try to eat healthy it is extremely important for you to eat healthy right extremely important if you're going to start anywhere start here okay the next thing you do is you clean out your house get rid of the garbage may it be material may it be friends and make sure you know if you're going to burn a bridge make sure it is a bridge that you really want to burn right if your certain energies are keeping you down you may not want to totally cut your connection with them you may just want to distance yourself from them and find people and situations that motivate you realize that we we that are me live streaming this you watching this we are privileged we we have a responsibility right and we do right that is that is the whole concept of privilege and it's not about your color or your money or whatever it is it's about your state of being if you're happy if you're achieving what you want to do if people aren't bombing you shooting you if there isn't coups happening if the police aren't knocking down your door and all that jazz right i'm assuming most of us are in that situation appreciate what you have appreciate the tools at your disposal main one being the internet make sure you fight to protect it because there are powers that are trying to take that away from you right pick battles that have a deep meaning to you don't jump around from one two second event to another two second event based on what corporate propagandists are spewing right because that means you're being controlled okay so look at the world analyze the world try to figure out what in this world is really important to you learn your mathematics learn your natural language learn both those well because what that's going to do is going to allow you to be able to consume information at a good rate right and be able to process that information so you can incorporate it into your life and to be able to process that that information you have to have a good handle on language and understand mathematics okay i'm sorry if it's a long-winded sort of sideways answer but to me what motivates me is what i have at my disposal and the pain that i've gone through in the past and what it took for me to come up to where i am now and that's made me stronger and i appreciate everything that i have my safety net that i have both emotionally through friends through family through my uh, tools that i've acquired in my life right because right now i could just ditch everything go somewhere and get a job doing pizza delivery if i have to right because i have enough stuff that i can consume there have enough books that i can read i have enough knowledge to dig myself out of a hole you have to get yourself to that state it's a brutal world okay 
you have to have a thick skin.